With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So here the question is, a ray of light strikes a glass slab of 5 cm thick making an angle or angle of incidence is equal to 30 degree given a ang angle of incidence is 30 degree so the first part will be draw a ray diagram to showing the emergent ray and the refracted ray through a glass block so the refractive index of the glass block is 1.5 okay we also have given the refractive index and the b part is measure the lateral displacement of the ray so we have to know the lateral displacement of the ray and the sign 19.5 is equal to 1 by 3 here the value given for the sign 19.5 degrees will be equal to 1.1 by 3 so in this question we have given the refractive index which is mu is 1.5 and i angle of incidence is 30 degree this is given okay so First, we have to calculate the angle of refraction. Angle, we have to calculate angle of refraction, which is small r. Okay. So, for using the Snell's law, We know that sin i by sin r is equal to mu. Okay. So this implies sin r is equal to sin i by mu. Okay. So we know the value of mu and i is 30 degree. So, sin 30 degree by, what is mu is 1.5. So, it will be equal to sin 30 is 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and 1 1.5 is 1.5. So, when we evaluate this, we got 1 by 3. Okay. Here, this will be sine r okay so the 1 by 3 and as we given the value of sine 19.5 degrees is equal to 1 by 3 so here the r is 19.5 degrees okay because given sin 19.5 degree is equal to 1 by 3 okay so here is the angle of refraction now let's draw the ray diagram Here is a glass block. Okay. And the incident ray is incident on glass ray, glass block. This is normal. So here, 
the refractive index of glass is very dense as compared to the refractive medium of air so the incident ray will be bent on the bent towards the normal okay so as we know that this incident ray will be goes Uh, like this but it can't be so it will be like okay so now when it will be bent this will be like this so this is the angle of this is the refracted ray okay and all we know that the emergent ray is parallel to the incident ray this will be like this and here is a normal here when the light ray is going dense medium to the rare medium then it will be move away from the normal so it will be parallel to the incident ray okay and let's naming them first so the angle between this is 30 degree and this angle will be 19.5 5 as we calculated here the refracted refracted angle is and here the emergent angle will be 30 degree okay which is equal to the angle of incidence this is incident ray this is refracted ray not reflected it's refracted and here is emergent ray so this is the solution part for part a and the five centimeter is high. okay so this will be the answer of part a and the part b will be measurement of the lateral displacement of the light ray so it will be so here the this distance is called the lateral displacement okay so the answer of b part will be lateral displacement will be equal to one centimeter okay when we measure from the scale okay that's it thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today